All right, this is Sarah Poff, the multimedia storyteller, and we're just getting a few more things ready here. Getting ready for a painting tonight. All right. Looks like we have some people coming in. Hey, looking forward to uh, painting with you tonight. Uh, just working on a few more details. Uh, getting ready to start here in just a few minutes. Hope you're having a good night so far. It's like we have some people coming in. Welcome tonight. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm going to check. If you can see my uh, where my hands are, could you put something in the chat? Make sure. I know that I stumbled around and I tried to delete that and not post that. But now I've got this going. Could you let me know in the comments if you can see what I'm uh, doing? Okay, so Karen says she can see. All right, uh, MCP all can now see. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm sorry. I uh, fumbled around there. I thought I could get it with the landscape version. It did fine this afternoon when I was on my uh, personal business page, but then it uh, kind of uh, defaulted here on me, and uh, I had to go out and start again, so I'm sorry for that. That's why we start early, right? Um, you can see and hear. Well, it's great to be able to see and hear. All right, well, this is a painting that um, I thought about all those snow days when I was a child, and um, I I loved those snow days. Now, I know my parents were teachers, so it, it was a little special to us, which it might not be to you, but my parents, you know, people were always wanting to do this or that or something else. You know, they were just always on call when they were out in public. We lived in a small town in southeast Missouri. And then when we had a snow day, my siblings and I got my parents all to ourselves. You know, just totally all to ourselves. And snow days were so much fun just because of that. Now, I didn't have any hills. Um, I was in Kansas City before I learned about hills and snow. But um, we did have ditches. So we, like, slid up and down the ditches down there in the Swamp East Missouri. So um, tell me about something fun that you've done. Because I think this painting would be one that would be fun for you to um, add some personal to it. You know, I, I show you the basics. You had some personal to it. Maybe you have some siblings. Um, you know, add your siblings in here or add your children. If you have children, add your children in there. So I, I see this one as one of those that can just spread out uh, lots of different ways there. So uh, we want to get started with this one. Uh, I see that uh, <clears throat> in the... In the comments, you can see my next program. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it's just one of those days. The grand girls were sick last week, and uh, they passed it on to me. So I'm uh, working on there. Hey, Dennis, I see some people on here I actually know. Uh, Susan, Stephanie. Oh, it's nice to see all these people on here. Are you painting by yourself, just watching, or um, having a paint party? Uh, let us know in the chat. Uh, so tell us something fun for my snow day. All right, I'm going to get ready and start. All right. Hey, you see all my tractor feed paper? Yes, somebody gave me a whole box of that. So, uh, you know, i got to use and make, make use of those kind of recycles, so I do. All right, so what I want to do is I want to draw just a little bit on here, and uh, then we're going to paint some. So I'm going to draw the... Um, circle-y. It's not really a circle because I've kind of rounded it off some, but just where I want the snow and ice that maybe the little girl is getting ready to sled on, little boy, whichever one you think it is, like that. I'm going to, I'm going to use that for that area. Then I've got a little bit of a ridge here that there's some animals on. They could be rabbits, they could be a dog, they could be some other kind of animal too. I'm not going to worry about the trees right now or the fence area there. <coughs> it, it, you know, you might consider it a bridge, the post around a bridge too. So if you see it here and here, it could be either. And then we're going to have that roll of trees back in here. So back in here behind, there's... This roll of snow, a little bit of trees here. I'm just kind of like, you know, sketching a little bit in. I'm not, I'm not doing a lot. I've been listening to programs about um, artists <laughs> and uh, some of them, you know, the provenance of the artist and uh, how do you know that the real artist painted it and all. And some of it has to do with the background, what they put in the background there. And I think that's real interesting. All right, then I'm going to, like, do some little circles. Um, there's one snowman here. However, you know, that's up to you. Um, looks like mine's going to be on the edge of that icy water. There's, because uh, the sky is darkened. Of course, it gets so dark so quick these days. So that's some kind of the basics that we want to start with. So let's see. I'm going to have, I always show you my paintbrushes. 
You know, I don't, it's up to you. I just have a bunch. I have a bunch. Now, I thought I would tell you because I do talk about sometimes when I'm painting. Let's see if I can find my comb. I do talk about my granddaughters getting into my brushes. And sometimes there's a little stiffer than others. And so what I did the other day is I took my brushes and I soaked them in some dish soap that I washed the dishes in. And I let them soak for a while. Then I just took an old comb. And sometimes I took a little toothbrush. And I just combed it out. And that brought back almost all of those hard brushes. I threw a few away, but I probably have a hundred. And uh, that really helped that, that come back to life. I also talk about painting with tempera cakes. And I thought, well, some of you might not even know what a tempera cake is. So I brought my tempera cakes up. These are tempera cakes. So this contains a lot of pressed together tempera. And so you wet this like you would watercolor. You wet this and then you're able to paint from there, but it has an opaque uh, about it that the watercolor doesn't. So those are good. Uh, I, I especially liked them when I was teaching because the kids could, uh, I did elementary and the kids could manipulate that a whole lot easier. All right, so now I'm gonna start in with my paint. Let's see, I want to paint this a lighter blue. So I've got blue here, and I use my Corel plates. Um, you know, anything, a paper plate works, whatever you want. I like to save my paint and pull it off. And this is just a cardboard canvas. You know, you can paint on masonite, you can paint on, um, you know, you could even paint on a, a illustration board, cards, some card stocks will take it, just, you know, watercolor paper, you can try out some of the same kind of things that we're doing in those. Okay, so, and I'll tell you a little secret, I, I forgot to replace my white paint. However, I found some tempera paint that is white, and I'm going to mix it with my blue. I, I've done that before in the classroom when I ran out. So I think it'll work okay. All right, so we're going to put uh, the darker color. I'm going to bring it to the lighter color. Because that way I waste less paint when I do that. Okay, and then I'm going to paint around. See, it just, especially when I'm, I'm adding it to acrylic, if you run out of something like that, a little bit of tempera doesn't hurt. Um, and even on this, you know, I have the white snowman. I should be okay. I know uh, I was listening to those shows about those famous artists, and they were talking about, um, you know, adding the egg to the tempera so the tempera would stay. It's so interesting. We think, well, you go to the store, you buy the paint, and that's that. Well, they mixed around a lot of it. It's it's very interesting. They can evaluate it, and they can tell these old masters, they can tell what age that paint is. Um, you know, did it come from the 1700s? Did it come, you know, from the 1600s? What was available then? You know, just, just those kind of details. Um, I, I really enjoy learning and learning why different artists did different types of paintings. So we got anybody out there with a paint party going? Share this to your public page. I'll uh, when I finish, I'll put it uh, down on my uh, post it into uh, MCPL 360's um, Facebook page, and it'll be there for for a while. And that way, you could come back to it and listen to it later if you want. Paint, paint. Paint, 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 paint. I sure do like to paint. Paint, 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 paint. I sure do like to paint. After I painted with you all in the fall, I spent the whole rest of the evening painting some more fall pictures. Oh my goodness, it was fun. It was fun. You all inspired me. Uh, by teaching you, I was inspired to just keep going. Just keep going. That's what I was inspired to do. All right. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the darker blue just kind of around the edges. 
uh, like this. Uh, let's see if that can give it some depth here. Uh, a little white on top of it and around. Uh, my fancy dancy uh, paper towels. Got some old material. I don't know. I'm going back to some of the old habits. I found some old material around the house and I thought, well, I can use that. I used that and then I let it dry and put it through the washing machine. <laughs> use it again a few times, then I'll throw it away. All right, now, I want this out here to be darker, but I don't want it to be, you know, the black. I don't want it to be black. I want it to still be blue. So we're going to paint some of this in. So I wonder how much snow you've had so far where you live. Has it snowed much? I am anxious for the first snow. I also like to go out and create snow creatures out in the snow once it comes. I enjoy doing that. I started doing a lot more of that once I, um, once my children left home, I had time to piddle out in the snow. I like to be creative no matter where I am or what I'm doing. And sometimes people will say, well, I'm not creative. I'm just not creative. You know, I will tell you that I have made more mistakes than anybody around and the more I create, the more I'm creative. It just, it just kind of comes. You know, it, it just is what it is, is all I know to say. It just is what it is. And the more you practice, the more mistakes you make, the better you get. You figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and you just keep going. And I would say with these kind of paintings, when we do these together, the deal is to accomplish it, you know, to finish it. And um, then, you know, paint, paint it again or come back to it and add some more later. But try to get it where you feel kind of satisfied with how it looks um, so that it could go on the wall. I know one lady, I was talking to her about her painting and she's like, well, it didn't quite turn out like I liked, you know, my husband, he made one too. We both went and you know what? We dig them out every year and we put them on the wall. And I think, you know, having a nice place to put these somewhere in your home and then just each, each uh, season trade out. I think that's a fun idea. Now, I don't know that I could ever talk my husband into doing a painting, but, you know, he just likes to sing. He doesn't like to paint. Okay, I'm trying to get this over here because then I'm going to put a tree there. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the whole area in there so that I won't accidentally leave a little bitty spot somewhere there. All right. Now, remember, I want to leave some of this a little white, and then I'm going to put some of the blue in there. And I'm going to go fairly dark because I want this to be a nighttime, but one of those night times that has a lot of blue in it. You know, the other night I was driving back from Excelsior Springs and I just looked up and I went, whoa, the sky is so dark, so dark. I'm trying to paint around my camera here. So we're going to paint in this area. Tonight I'm working with a little smaller canvas than I do sometimes. Um, I don't know. Just try, you know, I just try it out. Like I've said, I, I don't think there's a right, there's not a wrong. There's an experiment and see what works. The original, one of the reasons I did it is this original one that I made, um, I don't know, six months ago, whatever it was that I have to get those program items ready. It was small. It was all I had available at the moment. And so I've decided tonight, you know, the proportions will work out better in my head if I just go ahead and um, 
and do it that way. Okay, now I want to leave this for snow. I'm going to come down to that. And then I'm trying to leave this for that moon, big old golden moon back there. And I'm going to paint it all in. And then if you want to, you can always texture a little bit. But the main thing is to get it all painted in. And then the texture will come easier on top of it if you want to go back and make it a certain direction. That, that seems to help. All right. Now I'm going to do a little bit of fine work around here. I sure am glad. I, I took several hours. Oh, I have so many brushes. When I was doing the brushes the other day. Um, but I'm glad I did because now... I don't have to like try the brushes out as much to see if they're stiff or not, but I just thought I'd give you that hint. Now I have heard some of the other artists that I've been around, they soak their paintbrushes in milk for a while. And that seems to help their brushes. They say to help revive them if your brush you know, if your brush gets stiff. I I was so aggravated at myself the other day because you know what I did is I had a brush and doggone, I, I washed up all the brushes. And then I came back down, or I thought I did. I came back down the next day, and what do you think I found? I had stuck some brushes over in the corner. You know how I tell you I always just get a different brush? I don't spend time rinsing them out and, and all when we're here on a program. Well, I'd just taken a couple of them for some of the first layers of things, and I just stuffed it to the side. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And then I came back the next day, and I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding. It wasn't the kids that messed that one up. It was it was the grandma. Now I'm spending my, some of my retirement time taking care of the grandchildren. It is fun. It's a fun job. Let's see. Anybody out there ever eating snow cream? I know some people don't think we should eat it these days. That's your choice. I I still like snow cream. My only problem is it makes me gain weight. So I have to be careful about how much I eat. I do. I've lost a lot of weight and I don't want to gain it back. So I've got to be careful about that. Um, all right. We're getting there. Paint, paint, paint. Paint, paint, paint. I sure do like to paint. Do you? I'm hoping since you're, you're watching me that you do. Let's see if I can, can think about this right as I'm trying to paint those on there. All right. We're getting there. We are getting there. Yes, I always do like to add a little song with it. Don't ask me where the song comes from. I don't know. My, my, always my thing about it is the fact that I was trying to keep my students occupied. You know, I was just trying to keep them occupied, keeping them singing with me or thinking about what they were supposed to be doing. And it just seemed to work. You know, it just seemed to work to do it. So that's what it did. That's what it did. And there are several paintings that uh, will be coming live. Oh, that are on uh, YouTube that I have gone to uh, MCPL headquarters and painted. Um, and I always enjoy those days. So it, it's all, always fun. We all like to inspire other people to be creative. Um, it's not about how good you are, how bad you are. It's about you improving. You know, that's that's the thing. Think about Charlie Brown and some of those. I mean, you know, his are simple, but yet he made it. 
he made it with his his drawings all right so now i think the next thing i need to do is i need to get that old blow dryer out okay i got it plugged in now let's see about Let me plug it back up a little bit. All right, I sure do like to paint and I like to bring you along with me. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We're going to make it. Now, I want to switch brushes, and I want to be able to paint some of that white in. I'm just going to put some basic white in here now. Now, remember, remember what I told you. I'm just using some thick tempera right now because um, I didn't get back out to the store and I've done it before. Um, you name it in the classroom when you run out of something, you just, you just do what you got to do with it. And so you see it's doing pretty good. Now I would say the deal will be that I need to um, be careful about getting it wet because it's going to it's going to uh, come off of there easier than what the uh, than what the acrylic would. Okay, that one is stiffer, I guess. Guess that one didn't work out as good. So I want to, you know, I want to think about that. So I'm making my tree shapes, getting them kind of painted in white. And then I want to come back in there a little bit and uh, make it look a little bit more like the branches. Some of the branches of the tree. I just want to get it in there and get some of it drying. How you doing out there? Did anybody come up with their favorite activity to do on a snow day? I know, painting! <laughs> How about that? Paint, 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 paint. I sure do like to paint. Oh. All right. We're going, we're going for it. We're going for it. Now, some people that I've read about call this, what we've done here on some of this is back painting. Um, thought it was kind of interesting concept. Um, certainly not the way I learned it in college in art, but there's a lot of people talking about, you know, as we've had these paint classes that are, that are simpler like this one, um, that's what a lot of people are doing and it does, it saves time. Plus we have a hair dryers now. Back when I was a, a kid, I didn't have a hair dryer till I was... Oh, um, my senior in high school is when my aunt gave me one. So, they cost too much to get before then. So, that would be in the 70s. I've just been around a little while, that's all. So, I think I'm going to try three snowmen. I like to change it up. I don't like to always do the same. Not the same kind of person here.
who knows, I might inspire somebody to do theirs different by doing that. Ah. Uh, okay, now I think that the, the rest of that's going to be behind a tree over there. Um, let's see about this tree. I want to make sure I get it in there. Just kind of imagining a, a park with um, a pool of water on it that's frozen. Um, and some reflection of the dark blue of the sky there. Maybe that's a skating a place in a park that people come and skate. That could be. All right, now I'm going to go for a little bit of yellow. So I'm still going to use the white, but I'm going to go for a little bit of yellow in the moon. Oh, you know what I did, though? Looking back over at this one, what I did is I put the blue behind it. Okay, well, I need to do that because I did that so that it looked like these, those little recessed spots that we see up there in the moon. Instead of painting the whole thing in, I think I'm just going to do something like that. And then I'll just blow dry real quick. about some white and some yellow so remember what I said about bringing the and of course this time it doesn't matter as much but I've got a lot more white on here than yellow so I'm going to touch my yellow and I'm going to bring it to one of the edges of the white because I don't want it that big bold yellow I want it to be just a little more subtle and I'm going to just kind of stamp it because I don't want it to, you know, we look up at the surface and, and we see bumpiness. Even though it's so far away, we still see a lot of bumpiness there. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with it. Of course, you could make yours a crescent if you wanted. That's, well, it's your painting. You decide what you want to do. What do you like about it? about a moon. Now, if I have a little bitty brush, or even later, if you take like a blue Sharpie, you could go around this, and you can, you know, make it a little straighter. I stand when I paint with you on these, because I feel like I do a better job than if I'm sitting. However, when I'm doing the close work, I may not be quite as good. If this were wet, I would need to find me, and I wanted to paint it tonight, I would need to find me something to prop across the painting, a ruler, a longer brush, and then that would help you, keep you from getting it on the wet paint. However, we live in the day and age that we have that really easy to get hair dryer. They certainly did change my life. <laughs> oh, I have a thick head of hair and uh, I did not like to sit under those old hair dryers. It confined me to one spot way too long. All right. So there we've got spots. You can make it look like the man in the moon if you wanted. I mean, some of those kind of things. I'm, details are going to be up to you. Now, I'm going to take, um, I want a little texture in these trees. So I'm going to take a little bit of a stiffer brush. 
and I'm going to you know stamp across it now let me show you this brush so this is a brush that used to be as wide as it is as the middle is there however it got mashed off on the sides that really just makes it uh, useful I did trim a little bit but then it makes it useful for a smaller brush so I've done that especially you know if you let others use your brushes and they don't take quite as good care of them as you do sometimes you can and especially children okay let's see what happens if i just do some like this see a little bit of the blue behind uh, see if i can paint from the other direction so i think what i did different this time is I um, painted that blue all across there. Then I brought the tree in on top of it. And so that's making these trees look just a little bit different because you are seeing that behind. You could also run some green in there. So we're seeing a little blue there. Maybe I, I do like that idea of green. I'm gonna add just a little bit of green to them because they are some type of evergreen. Put a little green on my palette here. Like I said, sometimes I just look at it and go, oh, it needs a little something else. Just needs a little something else. And that was interesting, too, when I was watching those other shows, how over time... The artist would, you know, they do, they would do that. They would just change. So I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit to show through. See that spot right there is almost too much. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to use my left hand. We'll see how good I am with my left hand. Anybody else out there use your opposite than your hand than your dominant hand sometimes? Now, if you wanted it to be Christmas, of course, you could add a little Christmas to that. All right, I think I like it. I think I like that. A little more blue in there. Okay. So now I want to add a little blue and then a little green on these trees. I don't want a lot. So, you know, if you get too much, try it on the edge of your plate. Try it on the edge of the paper before you put too much on the canvas. And let me show you my other in case you decide you want that instead. Like I said, I'm always like, you know, I'm going to try something else. Just try different ways out. See which I like best. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the green. Just a little bit. I don't want a lot. So I'm going to come like I did before. I'm going to use this hand. I'm going to put just a teeny bit more green on there. Uh, I need to like wipe some of it off. Spend half your time, like, wiping it off. <laughs> wiping it off to make sure you don't get too much. How are we coming on time? Oh, we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. And as I, I've told people before when I've done these, and I, tell, I just keep telling each time, is, you know, you don't have to just do acrylic. You can do, uh, come back with Sharpies. Uh, color, you can do colored pencils a little bit on it. Pencils will show up a little bit. If you want to add more to it, you could do that. You know, this, this is your painting, your experiment to try. All right. Oh, I'm getting there, but it's hard. <laughs> See, these almost like, you know, call for a star up there. If you're going to decorate them with Christmas. <clears throat> but if you don't decorate with Christmas, you could leave it out longer. So all kinds of decisions to make. Oh my goodness. There's always decisions. One decision calls for another one that calls for another one. All right, here we go. A little more blue. Oh. Paint, 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 but not too much. Paint, 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 but not too much. 
paint, 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 but very, very lightly. Paint, 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 but not too heavy. Paint, 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 paint. Oh my goodness, you got to paint, paint, paint. And sometimes you get the little bored, 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 but you just keep like painting, painting, painting. And as you see, I'm not really even using my brush in the typical manner. I'm more of a a stamp to the side using either this side or using it like this, depending on where the spacing is there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, all right. I'm going to get me a little drink. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. So what is your favorite activity to do when there's snow out? Mm, sit by the fire inside? Oh, the new house I have, it doesn't have a fireplace anymore. Oh, well. Oh, well. My asthma's kind of caught up with me anyway, so I don't, I don't do much fire around a fire anymore. <clears throat> paint, 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 paint. I sure do like to paint. Hey, thank you for staying with us. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> paint, 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 paint. I sure do like to get this paint on there. So, and I uh, like to also, a lot of times I will take these and make multiple copies of them. And I will send them out to friends or give them to friends when I see them. Um, you know, the canvas doesn't cost very much. I bought it at one of those cheap, cheaper stores to buy things like that in. So that doesn't cost very much. And the, even if you mail it, the postage is not bad at all. You just have to get a bigger envelope for it, but it doesn't cost that much difference than what, if you were going to buy a card. So you could just use the instructions here and then each time you could change a little bit or you can leave it the same. Um, I don't know, but every time I paint things, it comes out just a teeny bit different each time. I guess that's just how I am. Oh, I better not. I better not get uh, distracted talking <laughs> and then paint too much green on there because we want to see the snow. Right? Those trees have a lot of snow on them. Snow that we don't have much yet. <clears throat> And I'm kind of hoping I have some programs over in uh, Kansas City area on the weekends in January. I'm kind of hoping that at least on the weekend, <laughs> there's not snow because I want to come do some more programs over there. I want to make snowman with clay instead of <laughs> sliding in the snow. All right. All right. There's my tree. There are my trees. <clears throat> now, I think on this one, I'm going to make my snowman, I think he's, they're going to face forward. I, I'm going to change it just a tad here. And they're going to face forward. <clears throat> I think that, that will be a nice little change there. Um, all right. So let's see what I have here. I'm going to do, I'm just going to do real simple features on the snowman. You, you might want to do a little fancier, but given the amount of time that we're trying to get this done in, I'm just going to go for, you know, what we consider typical. Just the coal eyes. And then some buttons, of course. And if you get it too big, you can either choose to leave it or you can blow dry it and do it again, which that that's what I ought to do with that one. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll have time tonight, but that's that's what I'll do before I mail it out to anybody. But 
But I, you know what I did is I tried to paint a circle instead of getting, this is a little brush. I should have just touched because see what I'm doing? I'm just touching. That's, that's what I'm doing. The best thing to do with, with those kind of little dots is to just touch. Just barely touch like that. It works out the best. All right, let's get a little guy in here. A little snowman family. This would be something fun to um, do for your family, the members of your family. Okay. <clears throat> uh, another paintbrush. Let's see. I think we're going to give a red, a red hat for this little guy. And it's just going to be a round one like this. Okay, now if we're going to kind of balance it, I think I will make a red one here. You want to try and make sure that you make this part of the hat big enough that it looks like it should go on there. And if you mess up, just tomorrow, come back to it and just do it again. Just, you know, just go back over it. Okay, let's see what happens if I do like this. Maybe it'll get dry before we leave. Or I'll have time for the blow dryer. All right. <clears throat> I think the middle one needs a blue hat. Let's do a blue hat. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, now, I really want to wait on those black trees till we get to the end here. So I'm going to just wait a little bit. Because the black will go over everything. Um, <clears throat> so I want to start with the little person that's pulling the sled across. So I'm going to make just straight down some little legs. <clears throat> and I'm just switching out brushes. Like I said, I don't want to take time. <clears throat> I don't want to take time to uh, wash them out. Plus, it's messy. It's messy to do that when you're in the midst of a painting and, and all. It's easier just to do it all at once at the end. All right. <clears throat> now, some arms here. And does it have to be perfect? Absolutely not. Um, you can also take the edges of this and you could shore those up with, with permanent markers a little bit lighter if you want. Um, that's certainly true. I, a lot of times I will put this on my piano. It's, it's in the edge of the kitchen <clears throat> and I will use it, um, set it there and I will just go back and forth, back and forth, you know, as I'm just doing my regular um, runs in the kitchen and uh, then I go back and you know kind of shore the painting up just a tad uh, that's kind of what I've done through the years with my paintings okay and we don't have to worry about hands on this one because it's mitten time of the year so we're gonna like put some matching mittens on here <clears throat> okay I think I made that a little bit too big so I'm gonna just cover some of that up like that. And put a little ball on top. Now we'll put a little, some dots there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, how about some red boots? Oh, I have a granddaughter that would like those. <laughs> what color would you make your boots? Or what color did you make your boots? <clears throat> How many people are actually painting with me tonight? Are some of you just kind of watching? Just kind of watching and seeing what's going on tonight. So I'm going to 
add a little darker over here. She needs, or he needs a sled. Almost forgot that sled. Okay. Now I'm just going to paint a little bit here. Oh, good, Dennis. It's wonderful to see you on there tonight. Or your wife. I'm not sure which one of you it is. It's really fun when I know people that are on there. All right. Now I'm going to leave the the pieces that I've drawn in here. I'm going to leave that because I want to do that with a permanent marker and um, later, you know, an ink pen or a permanent marker. Oh, Stephanie, and your five-year-old's painting along with you. All right, go, girl, go, go, five-year-old, go. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Next, um, I think I better get this in. We want to get that um, bridge in. That's right in there. I'm going to need a fairly small brush. And so I'm going to, I think I'm going to draw myself some lines here. Now, this is something, too, that, you know, you could bring back in a Sharpie. And you could do this with a Sharpie instead of a paintbrush. Uh, you know, those kind of options are always, always fine. This is your painting. It changes it maybe to a mixed medium. But it's all right. It's all right. Nobody said it had to be any certain way. Okay, and I made these black just because with the snow there, you um, can't see them. And so I try to get enough paint on my brush. I'm actually going to turn it upside down. Oh, Dennis, are both of you painting? All right. Dorothy, yeah, I, I forgot Dorothy's name there for a minute. All right. There we go. See if they, I try to get it, enough paint on it that you can make one swipe. Sometimes it works better than others. It sure does. It sure does. Oh, I'm getting better. <laughs> I might space them out a little bit more than I should have. Okay. Now, what I want to do, because there's, see, this is snow and ice here. So, I want to make this one opposite to those. Because it's behind. And so, I'm trying to make it opposite. So, we kind of give the illusion of the ones behind. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it back around. And I'm going to paint the top rail. Now I'm trying to be real careful because I don't want to touch... My little person, because my little person is wet. Now, I'm not going to go all the way over, because I'm going to put a treat there. Okay? So, I'm going to put a treat there. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it looks here. All right, so now I want to get um, 
who else? Oh, there's somebody else that, oh, I see. It's, it was Sienna that was talking. I've seen if there's anybody else that said they were painting. Somebody says they're watching. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to keep, we got to keep going because we've got like 15 minutes. I'm always surprised at how quick I'm going like, um, um, how long will this take? And then all of a sudden it's like, whoop, it's, the time goes, the time goes. All right, so I'm going to put me at, at least three trees and then I'm going to put a few little um, animals here on a little bit of a shadowed area. So I want to paint that shadowed area a little blacker there. And I don't want to forget my snow. I've, I've got to put snow and a little glitter. Oof. Got to have a little glitter. And I usually don't uh, glue the glitter down when I'm doing it on a painting. I just um, leave it there. And, um, you know, I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit on it. So, therefore, it can kind of come off if it if I need it to. And sometimes this part looks good if you go back. And so I'm kind of dry brushing is what I would call the, that when I'm doing. So I'm just kind of dry brushing some of that area. So I don't want a lot of paint on my brush. I'm just, you know, kind of dry brushing over some of that, that blue. Especially like up in here. I want to some of that to not be quite as bold. But remember to touch it on the paper before you go over to the canvas or you'll get too much on there. I thought I almost got too much then I'm trying to spread it out with my finger a little. Now remember the best way to see what this is going to look like is for you to stand away from it every once in a while. Stand away and then go closer and look at it because you want to draw someone's attention in. See, like our little person with the sled and then the little animals that are going to be here are going to draw us in and then we're going to look at the snowman and we're going to come up to the, the trees and the moon's going to pull us back around along with those trees. All right. Now, I think I need a little blue in here. So I'm going to need to, um, I think I'm going to need to hair dry it a little bit because I shouldn't do it right now because I see black on there. And I'm going to still use that like air dry. I'll just brush, brush, brush it. We want just mostly dry, just kind of airbrush it, just barely like that because we want it to look like. And if you want to put a little bit on the rail, you could do that. Just kind of tone it down a bit. Okay. Now I'm a little concerned. I am going to forget my snowman's noses. And so I'm going to go back right now, and I'm going to catch those noses. And this time I'm going to make them orange. The others, the other guy, his was black. I'm going to make these orange. And this is something that you could just make that a little, a little bitty line like that. And then that would be something that would be really easy. I would do a pencil. On that, I would not do um, a bold, you know, sharpie. Even a even a little bitty sharpie. I would um, just do pencil because you want real light. You can always go over it with a sharpie if you decide it needs more. That is certainly something you could do. But if you go with a sharpie first, it's going to be pretty hard to do the other. Now I think I've got. 
to do something fun here. I'm gonna put a little earmuffs here, earmuff. Or maybe this is the mother and those are her earrings. That would be me. I like my earrings and my hats. <laughs> those are two things I almost always have on. Those who know me will <laughs> tell you that is true. All right, trees. So I'm going to take one tree from here all the way up. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to be bold. Oh, we're going to be bigger. I'm going to be bigger so I can get this done faster. All right, here we go. Oop, there we go. I told you we're going to be bold. Okay, get that thing in there. All right. Then I'm going to switch back to the the younger brush. <laughs> oh, the little brush. And kind of pull it off like there's some roots coming out of there. All right. Now I want another tree. This time um, I'm going to bring it down to like right here. And then I'm going to pull it up. So I'm going to use that that I always taught with my kids. I called it the YV trees. Um, so you're making like a, a Y. You can see how like that's kind of a Y there. And then I want to add some V's to it. But that gives it more of a typical tree shape as opposed to um, a lollipop tree, as some people call them. And you can keep adding on some V's and Y's to that. And when that black dries, we can go back over that with um, with just a little bit of white if we want to make it look like there's some snow sticking to it. You, you're going to want to do what we call that dry brush. You're going to do the dry brush. All right, then I'm going to stick a tree like right here. I'm going to go up, make a Y. Then I'm going to kind of broaden it out here. Run it out, wide it up, make it wider, make it wider. I hope you're having fun. You know, don't be worried about it doesn't look as good as this or that. You know, it's about having fun, about learning, about going to the next step. Maybe just relaxing on after a hard day's work. Um, creativity can do that for you. And different people are creative in different ways. All right, now, I think I better widen the tree up just a little bit here so it can support those limbs up there. And that's something that, you know, you might not see right here. You might have to go up and, and uh, stand back for a minute. I really think three is probably good for this painting that we're doing right now. Now on my little area here, I have three little um, rabbits. Oh man, we are almost out of time. Of course, we're almost finished too. I have three, three little rabbits. I actually think I'd rather have them over here this time. So we're gonna just put a little darker area over here. I see that our library lady, Cheryl, she has put in there the um, MCPL evaluation. Please, please. You know, even if you don't like my style, because we have this great system, but the reason we have this great library system is because they want our feedback. They want to know from us. They want to know what we like and what we don't like. So, like I said, if you like me, great. If you don't like me, that's fine too, you know. You want somebody that, that you uh, identify with more maybe. Um, and of course we always want variety. We, you know, we certainly always want variety. We don't want to always have the same, always have the same kind of thing. So that's that's always to be considered too. Now I'm sure when I look at this tomorrow and I go a little further back, I'm going to go, oh, well, I should do more of this and more of that. And you may too. All right, so let's get a couple little shadows of some rabbits in here. So a rabbit's not hard, you know, just a little head, little, like kind of like our version of the backside of an Easter bunny. Not, you know, it's a little bit, 
it's a little bit um, just our idea. It might not quite look like that in real life, but sometimes we just do those things when we're doing a little painting like this. All right. Now, I, w I do want to add just a little bit more blue on that. And then I want to add a little bit of glitter. And then I think it's going to be about finished. I think we're going to be about there. Now, I think tomorrow I will, or even tonight later, I'm going to go around this. I really think that that would be an area... That would be an area that you would uh, take a pencil or a colored pencil and do or a very, very fine line something because um, if you do a big old Sharpie, I, I think it's going to be too much. I think it's going to be too much. Okay, so we want a little more ice and snow here on our bridge. Uh, I want to touch some more without getting too much, and it's kind of dried on me. Okay. Now, don't forget to put your name. Don't forget to put your name on it. Put a date on the back. Um, just because it's fun to look back and go, oh, I did this in. Do, does our rabbit need a little bit of a white tail here? Just, just a little bit there. All right, are there any comments that I need to talk about? Anybody have a, okay. Anybody have a comment? Um, uh, all right, and I will, as soon as I get off of here and it allows me, I will post it here. And um, you can, uh, you know, reach out and ask me questions if you have. Oh, I better not forget that glitter. Oh, where is it? I brought it up. <laughs> I thought I brought it up. Well, we may not have glitter tonight. You may have glitter at your house and I may not at mine. I had it sitting out in my stack to bring because my uh, art lab is downstairs and I do the videos upstairs. All right, well, you can see, I will show you my glitter on here. And what I do, you can kind of see the glitter. I didn't put a lot. I just put a little bit, and I just sprinkled it all over. I really thought I did bring it. Oh, well, like I said, you just got to go with it, right? You got to go with it. And sometimes it works out better than it does other times. So these trees ought to have just a little bit of snow with them, a little bit of glitter, and... Uh, you remember to uh, go ahead and use the pencil on that part. And we're glad that you came. And please take time to do that brief sur uh, survey for the library. And I'll look forward to you joining me again. And you can hear me sing my silly little songs. Maybe that helps us keep going. All right, this is Sarah Poff, the multimedia storyteller. Just here telling you another story on Canvas this time. All right, you have a great day now.